What's up subscribers, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about some recent news regarding Sundow Growers stock, ticker SNDL. We'll be taking a look at the recent stock chart and talking about what helped to propel Sundow Growers higher this past week. But first, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so that you get notifications about our future videos talking about the stock market and personal finances. So grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage of choice and let's jump into it. Since the last time that we talked about SNDL here on this channel, there has been a ton of excitement coming out about the stock. And unless you've been living under a rock, I think you already know why. This past Thursday, we saw the Wall Street Bets short seller squeeze spread over to SNDL, at one point pushing the share price up over $1, peaking at around $1.36 per share. But as fast as it shot up, we then saw the share price plummet, falling back down under $0.70 cents per share. With this huge pullback secondary to brokerage firms like Robinhood, limiting trading of SNDL stock much like they did for GameStop and AMC. And then further suppressing the short seller squeeze, we saw on Friday that SNDL management announced that they would be raising an additional $100 million through another stock offering. Now from a management perspective, I can't really say that I blame SNDL management to use this opportunity and all of the excitement surrounding its stock to raise additional capital to further fund its growth. But with that being said, the question still remains if SNDL remains a viable short seller squeeze play, and I've been getting a ton of questions from you guys asking my thoughts about this subject. In order to answer that question, I think it's first necessary that we take a look at the situation that was surrounding GameStop and what made that possible for the short seller squeeze to take place. In the case of GameStop, there were more shares being shorted than actually existed and were available on the stock market. By recognizing this unique scenario, retail investors like you and I were able to come together on social media platforms like Reddit in order to collectively organize a mass purchase of GameStop shares in order to drive the share price higher and force short sellers to have to pay a premium in order to close out their position. So with all of that being said, what is the current short seller interest regarding SNDL stock? At the time that I'm recording this video, currently approximately 25% of SNDL shares are being shorted. While this is a large proportion of short seller interest in Sundow Growers stock, when comparing it to GameStop, it's nowhere near close. At the peak of the GME short seller squeeze last week, approximately 88% of the total shares were being shorted. And at the time that I'm recording this video, there is still approximately 17% of the total GME shares being shorted. For those of you who have been following my channel for a while now, you know that I've been talking about Sundow Growers and all of the long-term potential that I think is ahead for this company. In the long term, I still think that there's a ton of potential ahead for Sundow Growers stock, but it is a risky and speculative investment for all of the reasons that we've talked about in my previous videos. But so far as the short term goes as a potential short seller squeeze play, I can't really say that I see it happening for Sundow Growers, at least not to the same extent that we saw it for GameStop. When comparing SNDL to what went on with GameStop, I don't really think the potential is there. Sure, SNDL definitely does have a lot of short seller interest, but it's nowhere near to the level that we saw with GameStop. And with SNDL management announcing that they're adding additional shares to the market in order to raise capital, that's going to make it even harder, in my personal opinion, to make this into a short seller squeeze play. Then on top of all of that, while I loved seeing what happened with Wall Street Bets and GameStop, Personally, I think this is really going to be challenging to try to pull another short seller squeeze over on these hedge funds. As someone who is personally invested in SNDL, obviously, I hope I'm wrong. I would love to see that happen and to see the share price absolutely skyrocket. But I gotta say, as someone who initially started my channel with the goal of teaching people how to manage their finances, get out of debt, and build a long-term investing portfolio, all of the interest in these short-term plays has really got me worried. The last thing that I want to see happen is for someone like you and me, your average retail investor, to lose money. So if you're considering taking part in any of these short seller squeeze plays, whether it be SNDL, GameStop, AMC, or any of the other ones that have been talked about recently, please make sure that you're only doing so with money that you're willing to risk if it doesn't go well. While there is potential to make some money in these short seller squeezes, it's also a very risky play, and you could potentially find yourself losing a lot of money. What are your thoughts about Sundow Growers? Are you invested in SNDL? 
Are you considering investing in this company? Where do you think the share price is going over both the short term and the long term? And what do you think about everything that's been going on in the market overall recently? Please be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think. And while you're down there, if there are any other stocks or topics that you would like me to talk about in a future video, please feel free to comment that down below as well. As a reminder, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a certified financial planner. I'm a resident physician with an interest in personal finances and investing. Please make sure you're doing your own research before you make any financial decisions. And please be sure to smash that like button and click on the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.